as most ships are, in 1947 to be the Salamis victory. It was then uh, resold again to a Belgian company in 1948, and this is the March Ballet, the March of Ballet. Um, the March of Ballet was uh, uh, cited in 1953 in Antwerp, Belgium. Um, you can see it's starting to rust, <laughs> as ships do. Um, this is a great photo, 1962. This is the March of Ballet in Lobito, Angola, at port. It was then sold again to uh, a uh, Liberian shipping company that did a lot of business in Asia. So now the ships left the Atlantic Ocean and it's sailing the Pacific Ocean as the Hong Kong Merchant. And unfortunately, in 1973, the ship, this is not our ship, this is a picture of a victory ship of its time, um, was scrapped in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, in the South China Sea, as many victory ships but I will tell you, not very many victory ships made it to 1973. So at least we're very proud that the ship sailed and did other things, and again, another history topic to research, the other things that were done. So um, at this point, I want to conclude uh, my lecture today um, by showing you something very special. Um, one of the things that I found in the archive was this Western Union telegram, and that telegram uh, basically indicated to me in uh, 2005 that a 16 millimeter color film had been produced of the christening set. I was shocked when I saw this and desperate to find out if one of the film reels, and you remember Jan and I had many conversations, I said, Jan, you must get these films digitized, you must get these films digitized. Jan, Sam, and O'Leary, our former librarian, was able to digitize those films, and I'm very proud to present, for the first time, the christening, with a little bit of music. It was no audio at the time.
Two students were actually here filming me today, and we did a oral history interview um, with uh, Rini. Um, so hopefully we'll send you links to that so you can watch that later. And Dr. Terry Scott, who's not here today, but Terry was the person who asked me um, or put out the, the feeler for, I'm looking for people to talk about things at the 125th anniversary. Um, and I said, Jeff, if you don't do it this year, you're never going to do it. So it was really Terry that pushed me over the edge. And again, I just want to thank everybody for their, uh, their participation today. And I'm happy to stay. Um, I don't have to leave. I know many of you probably have to get back to your days. But I'm happy to stay, have you take a look at the artifacts with me, answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much. Do you live around here? Yeah, because they're very good. Yeah, I'm going to thank you. 